Hey, what's going on? Um, so one of the things that I've been thinking about a lot is I've just been thinking about like the hand of God, the hand of God in my life, and you know when I think about the hand of God in my life I think about so much patience and mercy that he has shown me that I don't deserve that um, that there's nothing special about me and yet God loves me you know, and you may be feeling like, hey, there's nothing special about me. But God loves you. And so, in that sense, you are special. You're special to God. You're special to Him. And um, when I think about that, and I think about how He loves us, how He loves me, I'm so moved. I'm so moved. Um, I'm moved in so many ways Like in obedience I'm moved in You know uh, Recently I was struggling with some things And I was just like wow Like I haven't really struggled with This kind of area of my life In a little while Okay Wow So it's, it's still there uh, But I have a choice I have a choice I can be obedient to the Lord You know um, I can pray, I can ask for His help, ask for Holy Spirit's strength. Um, also, like, I can, like, um, remember Scripture, you know, and I've been given uh, the Holy Spirit, and the fruits of the Holy Spirit, one of them things is self-control. And so I can, like, just be like, do whatever I want, or I can tap into this resource called the Holy Spirit called the comforter called the advocate the friend and I can find and receive strength in a time of need so as I've been thinking about that I'm just like wow the hand of the Lord on my life wow God you are so patient um there's so many times you know like I, I, I almost died last year and yet I'm still here I'm banged up, but I'm still here, and I'm sure I will be healed, and I will be good as new in a matter of time. Um, but I, I'm, what I'm getting to though, is that what I'm realizing is that the hand of God in my life, a lot of it, when I. I'm trying to think how I'm going to describe this. So, ultimately what I'm getting to is I believe the hand of God in my life is just like He's been so good. He's been so good. And He is so faithful. And He is so true. And His promises are yes and amen in the Holy Ghost. And there is so much more for you than you could ever hope dream or imagine but ultimately what I'm getting to is that I am more and more aware of the hand of the Lord in my life when I just simply worship him when I worship him, when I worship him, and I'm just like, I worship you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. You are worthy of all my affection. You are worthy of my devotion. You are worthy of my obedience. You are worthy of my enthusiasm. You are worthy of my gifts. You are worthy of everything. Everything is yours. I'm yours. All my stuff is yours. Everything is yours. You know? 
And as I lean into that more and more, I'm really blown away at how, in some ways, this Christianity is simple. Like, I think it's hard when you are continually choosing to do your own thing, to obey yourself. And when you surrender and and just say, Lord, man, I give up. I want you to be Lord of my life. I want you to have everything. I give you my heart. You know, I give you my future. I give you my present, Lord. I give you my past. And I just ask you, God, to just do your will. And guess what? That's what God does. But then we get an opportunity where we're like, hmm, maybe I could do it differently. Maybe I could do it better. Maybe I don't have to do everything God tells me to do because there's grace. And grace is it's beautiful. It's like uh, kind of like a get out of jail free card, you know? But the more I am with the Lord, the more I'm learning about Him, The more I'm reading my Bible, the more I'm worshiping, the more I'm just gazing into his glory, into into his glory and his beauty, that he is holy, the more I realize that I can't, I can't, I can't do my own thing. I can't do my own thing. I was bought at a price. The Bible says that you were bought at a price and therefore honor God with your mortal bodies. Let that sink in. You were bought at a price. I was bought at a price. And therefore honor God with your with my mortal body. Mortal meaning this. We are mortals. Um as we pass on from this life to the next life, we are immortal. Um, I'm in Christ. I believe that His, uh, you know, that 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 the offering of Jesus has sealed me. I believe in it. I follow Him. He's the Lord of my life, and I believe that at the twinkling of an eye, or however it works after death, I will be with the Lord. Either I'll be sleeping and I wake up and I'm like, oh, I'm with Jesus. Or I'm like immediately with Jesus and there is no sleeping. I don't know. That's more like an eschatology kind of thing. But um, I just know that obedience is not... I don't know. It's not, it's not what I thought it was. I thought walking with the Lord was a certain way and I felt like there was a certain type of thing that you're going to struggle with forever that you are not really set free that you are set free but you got to keep coming back to the Lord and you got to keep being like oh God like I need you oh I need your help oh right and sometimes it is like that and there are areas of our lives where we need to continually come back to him and be like oh God I need you man I'm struggling And then there's other areas, though, where the the Lord, if you can listen, if you can be still, the Bible says, be still and know that I am God. If you can be still, I believe you will hear a voice saying back to you, you're already victorious in that. I've already redeemed that. I've already healed that. I've already forgiven that. That is over. You are free and I believe that when you're able to hear that your walk with God's gonna be different because you're gonna be like oh wow I don't have to be thinking about these other things of course I I I I, I you know I present my body as a living sacrifice and I'm, I'm and and because of that like the Jesus sees me as holy um, because of Jesus you know like the father sees me as holy be through Jesus but I believe he's gonna he's gonna illuminate um, 
other areas that uh, that require your attention and so um, yeah so I just wanted to share that um, yeah about the hand of God the hand of God in your life and just just be um, be vulnerable with you be vulnerable with you um, who's watching um, that uh, as I do more and more of these videos um, I will be doing that I will be being vulnerable I will be in I will be allowing you into my journey with Jesus my journey with God and I, I believe that my journey with God is definitely authentically mine and historically mine like I don't think there's other people that have you know they might have similar stories but it's not me just like when you tell your story your story is not me it's your story and that's why it's so important that you tell it that you share the good news that you share your testimony that you step into all that God has for you the Bible says in Revelation they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony I don't know about you but that encourages me to share more and more of my testimony thank you for watching love you guys and talk to you soon bye